Okay, so let's say we get to a question um, that is a right angled triangle, and I see that I have two lengths, three and four, and I've got a missing side that I need to find. That should set alarm bells ringing and think, right, this is Pythagoras' theorem, and we need to write down that theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is to label the triangle. This is very important because you want to make sure that you're getting the right sides correct into the formula. So C is always the hypotenuse. So it's always the side that is opposite the right angle. So that's going to be C. Then the A and the B are either of the other two sides and it doesn't matter which way round you label them. So let's call that one A and that one B. But I could just, have easy, just as easily said that was A and that was B. So it doesn't matter which way around. But it's just the C that is the important one. So I've got A, which is 3. So I've got A squared, so that's 3 squared. I've got B, which is 4, so 4 squared is C squared, which is X. So X squared. So I've got 3 squared, which is 9, 4 squared, which is 16, and you've got that x squared. Now we have the 9 and the 16 make 25. And this is where you want to square root both sides. So you square root the 25 to find the value of x that you want. And the square root 25 is 5. So that would mean that x is 5 centimetres long. And this is one of those special triangles. This is called a, sometimes called a 345 triangle. Okay, and it's recognised as um, a Pythagorean triple, as it's called, 345. The sides of a right angle triangle that are whole numbers. Okay, so this is the process that we're going to go through. I'm going to show you another example in the next video.